Hey y'all, I was getting ready this morning and it dawned on me that I use a lot of stuff, like an excessive amount of products. So I thought I would go through my normal routine for the day and you can kind of compare it to what you do and see, you know, maybe I'm crazy compared to you, maybe I'm not, but let's do this. First things first, yeah, it's pink tile in my bathroom, it's straight out of the 50s, whatever, I love it. First thing I do when I get up in the morning is I wash my face, and this is a cleanser I bought from Sephora. It's pretty good stuff. It's like a foaming cleanser, so I wash the face. Then I follow it with a serum, and this is an Ula Henriksen. It's got collagen in it, so it makes me feel better about aging, whatever. The moisturizer I've been using lately is Sheer Transformation, also from Ula Henriksen. Huge fan of his skincare line. You can see I'm almost out because, you know, payday's coming up. So y'all feel me on that one. After I wash my face and moisturize my face, it is time to get ready to put on my face, as uh, we Southern ladies call putting on our makeup. First things first, uh, when it comes to makeup, I use Benefits Pop Off because I tend to have a little bit of under eye puffiness. This you just put on. It's got a neat little applicator that looks kind of like an iron, which is super cute. So you put the cream on, it's a cooling effect, and it kind of reduces puffiness and makes you look more awake, which is awesome when you have a toddler. Then I get ready to put on my eyeshadow, all that good stuff. I want to make sure it stays put during the day, so I use Benefit Stay Don't Stray. I think it's a really great eye primer. It comes in a little tube that's kind of like lip gloss. It's got a small applicator on it, and I use the light shade. Then I get ready to put on the rest of my makeup. Got to put down a good base primer. My two favorites are Benefit's Professional. Uh, I love this stuff. I cannot go without it. I know it's excessively expensive, but whatever. It's amazing. It makes my face look like porcelain. It's great. Second favorite primer is Hourglass Mineral Veil, and I usually have to buy this in the smaller things because I can't convince myself to buy the full size, which is like $80, so I just do it $20 at a time, which is probably a terrible value. Whatever. So the next thing that I use is not Nivea cream. This is actually, and let me open it so you can see, a little tin, and it's got a small amount of this it's like a white eyeliner it's from NYX Cosmetics it's called Milk I depot mine and put it in here because it's just easy to dab my finger on I think it works really well and it kind of gives me a little bit of a good base makes my eyeshadow stick then I put on my eyeshadow and I don't have like all the colors because I usually use one from one palette one from another this is just like a you know you can't go wrong with Urban Decay's Naked so let's pretend I put on my eyeshadow also do the brows. I'm really lazy with my eyebrows, like I wanted to look perfect, but usually I just end up using my Benefit Gimme Brow because it's simple. Keep it simple. Can't go wrong with that. And then foundation, <laughs> and uh, this is a really good one. It's from East St. Laurent. I'll kind of like close up on the name. It's a uh, Tentouche Claw, and you know, I'm not really good at pronouncing French things, so that's probably wrong, but whatever. I think it's the greatest foundation ever. Makes me look luminous and younger and rested and all that good stuff. So after foundation, then it's time to do the contour. This is from Tarte. It's Park Avenue Princess. Their contour set, it's like a powder contour set, and you can see it's got a really pretty, like, light I'd say kind of like a bronzer, but it's really matte, so it works well. And there's like a highlighting color and a blush color. I'd be honest, I don't really use the blush, so I kind of pop over to my gold standard, which is NARS. And this is hard to open with one hand, but it's NARS Orgasm, which is probably the best brush ever. It's really like shimmery and peachy and pinky, and it's fantastic, so... Contour, blush, then I go back into the Park Avenue Princess, and it's got like a little bit of a highlight, which I showed you a second ago. I don't know why I'm trying to open that again. Whatever. And then I do a finishing powder. This is from Tarte. Then I put on my mascara. My two favorites right now are from Too Faced. It's better than sex and benefits roller lash. So I kind of go in between these. And uh, then I finished off a little bit of lip gloss. And this is just a really simple color from Sephora. You can see it's like a nice light pink. And this one is pin up pink. So that's how I get ready in the morning. Wow. I mean, the video took, you know, four minutes. So it probably takes me about 30 to 35 to get ready in the morning. But when all's said and done, I love it. What's your morning routine like? Comment below and let me know.